Hello and welcome to my first ever Let's Play series here in Minecraft 1.19. I'm Rosie and in this series of world building and storytelling we'll be constructing a great settlement across the hills and plains, spilling out into the rivers and bridging across to the distant hills, and perhaps finding a monster or two along the way. As you can see we've already made a start on this world but I'll give you a quick recap of events before we begin the project. I started a new world, survival, hard mode, no cheats and with fire tick turned off because I frequently burned down my own house. Immediately I spawned just outside of a spruce village and after a quick look around I decided that that was the best place to go first. I did find a cat stuck in some trapdoors so I got some fish and tamed it as this is single player and I will get terribly lonely. Leaving the village I spotted two things in the misty sunset, another village and a tiger biome. I have plans for a tiger so this was my next stop. This village was as uneventful as the first and terribly steep to climb up but I did steal some beetroot seeds and a carrot from my own farm as well as some hay bales and another cat. I had a quick look around and decided that this spot was perfect for what I have planned. I also found another cat trapped in the cow pen along with a load of villagers and I tamed that one too, so now it's a blessed cat there. Behold my children. I decided to set myself up at the bottom of the hill with plans to build my way up the hillside. I chose a flattish section of wall right underneath the village and made my very own small cave to dump all my stuff in. I got myself some iron and made a bucket and I started some farmland with the crops that I'd gotten from the villagers. It's mostly just potatoes and carrots and it's a bit scruffy and I accidentally misplaced a pumpkin and glared at it. While tending to my various chores I got myself some stone smelting because my future need for stone is going to be immeasurable. I figured it was best to start a strip mine for all the stone I'd been needing and I also hoped to grab some copper along the way. The mining gods provided as I hit two huge copper veins each giving me about four stacks of copper. I didn't even get to finish mining the last one as it broke my pickaxe so I took what I had back to the base and stored it as raw blocks. I realised I needed to get sugarcane so I did exactly that. This ugly little patch outside my front door will do for now and I'll make an automated one later down the line. Now I just need to find some cows so I took the ones from the village and popped them in a hole. I upped my storage and left my crops and sugarcane to grow, forgetting that there was a village over my head. So far I've only found one zombie villager in a cave and I've trapped him in a boat for now so he won't despawn. Losing the villagers is no great trouble because there is another village just past those trees. So I can always just bring some across if I need to. And here's my base, just a little the doorway in the hill. It is literally a doorway in the hill. As the build advances up the hill I'll be removing the houses anyway and replacing them with ones that better fit the theme of the surrounding area which is going to be mostly spruce, going for like a tiger look and uh, yeah that's about it really, I don't know what else to say about that. But I've got a lot of resources to gather so I'd better get on with it and I think I need to start by making a dripstone lava farm because I'm going to need an awful lot of lava. I'm stuck in the door. I'm stuck in the door. For my hi, for my smelters, because I'm going to need so much stone. Back here through this little door is the entrance to my mining area. So there's my my main way down, and I've got some strip mines here that I've just been going for coal. But I think I'm just going to clear this out and put the little lava farm in here. And because I don't have enough iron for the buckets at the moment, I'm just going to make little holes in the floor and pop each bit of lava in the floor and then just pick it up when I need it. One big empty room that can be expanded as needed. I think I'm just going to pop it here against this back wall. I've got three cauldrons for now so we'll just do that. Please don't burn me, please don't burn me, please don't burn me. Okay, yeah, that should be that. What I really need is stone, so I've just got to keep these smelters going. I've got some cobblestone backed up. I've already got quite a lot of stone smelted. I actually need andesite as well, so stone, andesite, and I think I'd like to get some gravel and some tough if I can find it. And some gravel. I think just clearing out this patch will probably get me everything I need. Don't need a huge amount, just want a bit of texture. And there's also some andesite. Hopefully I'll find some iron as I go, because I don't even have any armour yet. Oh, no armour. Just use up an entire iron pickaxe there, but I think I've probably got enough of everything. I've got three, three stacks of andesite and two and a bit of couple. Let's see if we've got anything here. Anything filled up yet? Oh, we've got one. Excellent. Something I really need to get is moss, because I'm going to need it for making the mossy bricks. Because I don't think you can just take the mossy cobble that you get in the tiger and turn it into bricks. I, I, I've never been able to do that. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, if I'm being stupid. That is a very real possibility. I'm going to go down to the river and I'm going to see if we follow the river if we're actually going to find anything because that's usually where I spot the azaleas first. Here it is. I 
I have had a quick look around from when I was on the hilltop and I can't see anything in the immediate render distance. Ooh, dark oak. Is this just a pool now? Oh, no, it carries on. Not seeing anything yet. Ooh. Hello. Oh. Well, just going to tidy this up a little bit. And then, I'm just going to dig down and see where we end up. Ooh. Found some. Oh. Ooh. Uh, oh, I've not got a weapon. Not really. I've got a dying axe. Oh, I didn't bring any shears. Look at all this iron. There's so much of it. Iron block there. Ah. Uh, trouble. Why don't you do that? I'll take some iron while I'm here, but I think I'm actually going to leave most of it and come. Oh, and come back when I've got fortune. So much here. Might take some redstone dust while we're right here on the surface. Ooh, hello. Come back. A chair. That's where I came in. I think I've got everything I need. I've got my moss. I can make bone meal. I can grow my own azaleas. Got an axolotl, which is very important picked up the block of iron, since it won't get fortuned. Yep, that'll do. And time to head back. It's not far. I'll need that later. This poor cat is gradually disappearing into the potatoes. Come on. Right, get out. There you go. I've been hanging around so much that I've actually already got all the bookshelves needed for my enchantment setup, and I've got some spare books for the inevitable mending trades. Um... Hello? Oh. Can they open doors? So I ran away down this hole, I was hiding at the bottom. And I think that's actually long enough. The pillagers might have... Oops. Might have despawned? I can't hear them. I can't see them. I think they've gone. Ooh. Is it just the one? I think it's just the one. Here we are. Some more. Please be more than two. I suspect that's only two. Ooh. Thank you. First diamond pick. Come up to the tiger to collect some spruce from some of these big silly lollipop trays. Look at that. Stupid. Whilst I was up here looking at the neighbouring hills, I spotted... Ta-da! So I think I'm just going to go get some obsidian and I can make my enchanting table. Hello? Do I have... I have a bone. Oh. No wolfie for me today. Oh dear, it fell down. Um, I'll just turn the whole lot. May as well. Ooh, I'm going to pinch one of these for diving as well. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I'll take respiration. And some nuggets. I've got a million flint and steel, I don't need that. I'm only going to take two for now, I think, because I can always come back. Ta-da! I forgot it needed four obsidian. I thought it only needed two. I don't know why. Should I? 
Will it do it? Will they tend to cobble? Yep, oh, saves me running up a hill. Yoink. Where am I going to put it? It'll just have to go here by my lava fire. Oh, another one's done. Let's see what's first on offer for this. Fortune 2. I can't afford it yet anyway, but that's not brilliant. I've got Fortune 3. I think I'm actually just going to put Efficiency 1, lose one level, and then re-roll it. I just need to make a grindstone. Try it again, only got efficiency. While I've just got efficiency, I think I'm actually just gonna go see if I can get some more diamonds and I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a shovel. Because I need a lot of dirt. Six is a good start. Time for a diamond shovel. And I think I'll go for a diamond axe as well, and I'll start getting some enchantments on all of these. Mm, I think I'm going to risk unbreaking on this, because I'm going to need this quite a bit for today's build. Been smelting a lot of copper, so I'm just going to put some of this out to oxidise, because I do need it. I don't actually have any wax, though. I know they're too close together, but oh well. Because my pickaxe is already losing quite a lot of endurance, I'm actually going to go to the village that is over there, and I'm going to see if I can get a mending villager already. I just I need to get them set up. So I've got an inventory full of potatoes and carrots so I can trade with the farmers. I haven't brought a spare book, I need to go get that. There we are, I've got some books to trade with, and I've got my one, my one emerald. Got him! I think, I think this has taken me about 30 resets, which is quite good. I've taken longer than that before. But I've been trading with the farmers, and so I'm gonna get at least one. I think I'll get one for my shovel. I think I'll get another one while I'm here. Now I think I need to protect him. Come on, get back in your thing. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Just before I left I checked the farmer villages and they've reset so I'm just gonna get one more book. Hi. Yep, one more. Oh, good discount. One more book, please. That's it, I'm out of books. Time to go home. So now that I'm back, I'm going to try and disenchant this, because it's only got efficiency, and I'm going to see what I get a second time. Except now I don't have enough levels. So what's this one? Fortune. Excellent. There we are, 30 levels. Are you going to get anything else? Are we just going to get fortune? That is nice. I like that. Especially when I get mending on it, which I'm going to do right now. Oh, I don't have an anvil. And I don't think those villages had an anvil in. Because I know where it is, I think I'm actually going to go back to that mossy cave and pull up all the iron that we found, or at least some of it, try and get enough to get the to get an anvil. Whoop. I think I lit it well enough last time that not... Oh. Okay. Three stacks of iron, one raw block, and a little bit extra. I think that's it. I will go home for now, because I have a feeling things are going to creep up on me. Why is there so many fish? Why is there so many fish? While the iron is smelting, I'm just going to go... I'll collect some of my copper, because some of it's ready to go, but I'm also just going to harvest some more potatoes, so I can do some more trading later. Iron's all done. Time for an anvil. Long. Just two. My axe got silk touch, so I'm gonna go over there-ish where I saw a beehive and see if I can pick up the bees. Go in the hive. Go in your hive. I think they're in there. I'm gonna take it. Ouch. Can I pick that? Yes. Excellent. I think that means I got three if I got the achievement. Right, got the bees in place. I will be expanding that out later. They're not coming out today though. I don't know if it's because there's no flowers nearby. Here he is. And a baby. Bee bee bee. Now I need to gather a lot of dirt because I need a lot of dirt. No real need to elaborate on that, I don't think. I'm actually digging up the village path for when I come to remodel the village anyway, so I may as well take it up in my dirt gathering.
So I think now I've got more than enough of everything that I need. I've got a load of dirt, I've got some cobble and the andesite, and I've got a lot of stone. And I've even got some deep slate if I decide that I want that. And I've got things like the gravel and the tuff. I think that's it. I think what I need to do now is just clean up the farmland because the build is going to go kind of here but stick out a little bit. So I need to just get rid of this farmland. I'll move it somewhere else later. And that's it. With the way cleared, I think I've really just got to start building as a bee. Got a nice level bit of ground, which I can customise later, but for now, it's time to get on with the gate. And I realise now I have told you absolutely nothing of my plans. So this is going to be a great big gateway that leads as like a pathway up to the hilltop above. It is going to be big tall grand entranceway with farmland in front of it, and the village is going to be on the top part of the hill where it can overlook the surrounding area and over the farms and look over the docks that will inevitably be coming. Presently I'm not 100% set on what exactly the build style is going to be for this whole settlement so I'm just leaving it as reasonably straight lines and simple decoration just going more for texture and maybe a little bit of layering and I can always just come back and add to it as needed. Now there will be an overall theme for this settlement once I actually start building you know the buildings up top it's actually going to be a little bit kind of Viking-y, but not at the same time. It's kind of going to be big and grand. There's going to be an inference on it being mostly a mining and forge area. There's going to be a very, very big forge with a very, I think, quite unique design. I don't think I've ever seen it before, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Who knows? For now, I'm just going to work on getting the essentials done, like getting a base of operations and some storage room, which essentially is what this gatehouse is going to be. I know a gatehouse is maybe a bit much, particularly of this scale, to be a, a starter base, because this is essentially what this is. It's a bit much, I appreciate that, but I don't want to build something to just have to take it down later or build something finickety and then set the rest of the village to be around that style. I'm just I'm just gonna build a great big gateway. It's just a big open box. It's it's nothing particularly grand. It's just it's just big. I'm gonna leave the interior for this week and I'll come back to that next week. It just needs so much wood. Just so much wood chopping. I will do it between episodes and I will just finish the interior next week. As you can see, we're all done, and it's really quite big. It's a bit bigger in the situation than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be big, it's just turned out bigger than I thought it would. Never mind. It's a little bit overgrown, and I've got some little pockets where, you know, old building stone has just been left and it's been taken over a little bit by the berry bushes, and then on the other side, there's just some stuff being stored there, and inside is presently still a mess. Just an absolute mess. So we'll work on the interior next week. It's going to be a big storage room, it's going to have Tons of boxes everywhere, that's really all I'm going for. There's going to be no organisation, it's just going to be a tatty heap of boxes. But I think that's where we'll call it for today. We've done more than enough, and if you enjoyed this, please do consider coming back for the next episode next week, and thank you for watching! Bye!